the Islanders with a 5-3 win tonight. Butch, we've talked about it, though. They could have had 10 goals tonight. Uh, I, I thought they had an outstanding game. I mean, coupled with I thought was a very poor game by the Flyers from a defensive standpoint. They left both their goaltenders out for the Islanders to feast on them. So the Islanders, kudos to them because they are really on a roll right now, skating extremely well and playing a very smart game. And interestingly enough, the Islanders trailed in this game. It was a terrible start. They gave up a goal a minute and seven seconds in and had to bounce back, but it really had no effect on their start to the game with allowing that first goal early. Oh, just a wake-up call, Brendan. The, the alarm went off, but Jake Voracek, his alarm was uh, off a lot earlier than anybody else, but uh, Anders Lee is going to find a way to score score a goal as he, in front of the net, and just watch the second effort, the strength by Anders Lee, so that was a shot from, from the point by Johnny Boychuk, and the Islanders really needed that one badly, as you can see Anders Lee, he just completely out-muscled the defenseman um, Sandheim, and the Islanders now would get quickly strike, that's something they did very well, Brendan, is they just really got it going, and good give and go with Broussard, that was 65 Nelson. seconds later, yeah, yeah, which after tying it up at 1-1, they went up 2-1, 65 seconds later, Nelson and Broussard on the give and go, and then they would finish the period with a Ross Johnston goal. Right, and give Ross Johnston a lot of credit. This drive towards the net, a lot of guys might have went behind the net, but Ross Johnston says, well, I'm just going to go to the front net, let's see what happens, and Bardo gives him a perfect pass, and now the Islanders have that third goal. One to remember for Cole Bardrow as well. He had his first career assist on the goal for Ross Johnston, who also had a fight and a couple of minor penalties in this game. Nine penalty minutes overall. Three hits, three shots, a goal for Ross Johnston. Anders Lee, a multi-point game. And the Islanders, you see, 5-2 and two in allowing the first goal. They've now led in each of their last four games after the first period in which they didn't do that at all in their first seven games of the season. So much better first periods for the Islanders has helped them certainly in their game tonight. And they had a 3-2 lead going into the second period. That's when they really took the game over. Well, they, they just you know kept doing what they're doing. You and I talked about what they needed to do. Well, they just continued to skate well, support one another. Hart throws that puck around. The Islanders just pounce on the loose puck. And they're just such good support. And I like the fact that Del Cole talked about getting his feet moving. He did that. And there's the support in the middle. Clutterbuck over to Ryan Pollock. So all kinds of puck movement. Drive towards the net. A little bit of a screen in front. And um, Carter Hart just can't come up with it. And then the Islanders are off, uh, off and running. 85 seconds later, again, the goal's coming in pairs. This is still against Carter Hart. It'll be the last one he gives up. Matt Barzell just blows past everyone. Boy, when you got that kind of speed and, and the quick hands, and Barzell's been shooting a lot more. He's been looking to shoot a lot more, and that's a good sign for the Islanders because his DNA says I should be a passer. Well, he's turned out to be a goal scorer now. Two points for Matt Barzell as well. He's got 10 points on the season. Nine of them have come during this seven-game win streak. Ryan Pollock got his first goal of the season as well as he was upwards of 20 minutes tonight. And so this solid stretch continues for the Islanders. They've won seven in a row, but now they've got four days off before they take on the Tampa Bay Lightning in what is a tough sequence of games. they got Tampa Bay at home and then on the road in Buffalo the very next night. Butch, I would say they have a challenge here with four days off, but they just did it, and they'll have to do it again. It'll be the second four-day layoff during this win streak. Uh, well, they're certainly very comfortable, and, and the good stuff is that, you know, they get a little rest, but they also get a chance to work on some more things, perfect their game, and prepare themselves for Tampa. That'll be a difficult test. We all know how good Tampa can be. They haven't been as good this year as they were last year, but I always maintain that, you know, when you have two or three days and you have good practices, more often than not, you're going to have a good game. All right. Butch had a good game. I we did. can all agree on that. 5-3 <laughs> win for the New York Islanders tonight.